challenge. This one's a level eight. We're doing it in JavaScript. It's called a wolf in sheep's clothing. As always, there's a link to the challenge in the show notes. Try it out before watching the video. That's the best way to get good at JavaScript. Uh, the best way to improve your JavaScript is to keep practicing. So with that in mind, subscribe to the channel and that way you're notified every time I do one of these. All right, so we've got uh, a function here that takes a, a bunch of, uh, basically a list of sheep. Um, there will occasionally be a wolf in that list. And so what's gonna happen is we're, we're in the queue backwards. So uh, we're, we have to think of things seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So this is the first sheep in the line. So the way the function works is any sheep that are in front of the wolf need to be warned uh, that there's a wolf there, okay? Um, there's an edge case here. So if the wolf is at the beginning of the line, we just simply say, please go away and stop eating my sheep, okay? All right, so what we need to do here is uh, the, the queue is kind of backwards. We need to reverse this array. Uh, so let's do this first. So we'll say const reversed is, Q is equal to Q reverse, okay? So now what we can do is if the first thing is a wolf, or actually let's get the uh, index here. So const index is equal to, we're gonna look for where is the wolf in the index. So we'll do index of, okay, and then we'll do wolf. Wolf, okay. So this'll, uh, this will let me know where the wolf is. So I'm going to do uh, if uh, index triple equals zero. In other words, if he's at the beginning of the line, then we will return and let's copy this string here so we don't have to get any spelling errors. Okay. Um, otherwise, uh, we need to basically, uh, so at any point, so in this instance here, uh, we're warning the first sheep. Uh, if I reverse this list, the index of the wolf is one. So all I need to do is just return the index. Um, so let's copy this string. So we'll return, I'm doing back ticks here so that I can interpolate that number right there. Okay. So we're going to do index. I'll close that, uh, interpolation there and let's test this out. All right. Looking good. Great job, y'all.